Hi guys, welcome to the RC store. This is our review on the MJX Hyper Go. This is pretty much brand new vehicle that's just been released by MJX. So a bit about MJX, they used to basically make drones. They moved from making drones um, over to RCs. Simple reason being, I don't think their drones did too well, to be honest. So they've started making uh, radio control cars. This is a 1 14th scale. It's a four wheel drive with a brushless motor. Just so you, you know what they are. They do two different models in these. The item numbers they are, it's a 14301 and they do a 14302. This one is a 14302, so it's a Lancia Delta. We do have a 14301, but we will do that on a separate video altogether. So like I said, this comes with a brushless motor. As you can see, the brushless motor in there is a 2845. Um, comes with aluminium oil filled shocks and a 45 amp brushless ESC. To be honest, it's um, pretty well packed, to be fair. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz controller, which is a three channel. It looks very similar to a Dunbar, but I don't believe it is. As you can see, the packaging's quite well on this, to be fair. It does have, um, it states, built in LED lights when we open it I guess we'll have a look right let's get this um, unboxed right so it comes in two boxes I'm guessing obviously this is a controller let's have a look at what we get This is a 2.4 gigahertz controller that comes with the vehicle. It's fairly light to be fair. It's a three channel. It's got, um, as you can see, I'll just pop that over towards the camera a bit. It's got two settings here. You can either run it with full power mode. You've got 70% power mode and then it's just off. It's got analog um, trim settings, so for your steering and your throttle. And it's got some nice foam cushioning around the wheel. Over at the top, let's see what this is. Ah, it's nothing there, it's just a, just a sticker. Okay, so I believe it takes AA batteries. We'll open that in a second, we'll have a quick look at that. Let's see what else there is. So, we've got a little pack there that comes with some of those. You got your little hex spanner set. You've got a 2S battery charger, which is powered through USB. This is a 5 volt 2 amp and it comes with a little screwdriver as well which is quite handy what's this here okay so you've also got an, a fan which I believe obviously will be for the motor or the ESC so I don't know if, if they've got one already on the car or if this is an additional I don't know yet oh wow it comes with a set of tires I'll open them up so they look like there's some sort of rally tires with rally tread Decent compound to be fair. They are a bit hard, but you can still feel the grip on them. Let's see what else there is. Ah, another set of tyres. Well, not just tyres, wheels as well. So I'm guessing two. I'm not sure if there's one set already on the car. But we'll check that. So these are plastic wheels. I'm guessing these are for drifting, obviously. So 
can use this on tarmac, carpet, or so forth for drifting. Now the exciting bit, let's get into unboxing the car. So in here, you've got a set of instructions. Now oh, the vehicle has a gyro on it as well. So it's got a G3 gyro. There's some instructions for that. New instruction manuals. I'm guessing they're just self-explanatory, very basic. And here it is. And it does come with a set of wheels on here and a set of tires so I'm guessing it, well I'm guessing not guessing I know it comes with three sets of tires and wheels so you can use it on all sorts of different terrain let's get this out really well made to be fair the body is it's quite heavy right, let me get these plastic lugs off Ah, okay, we forgot. It comes also with some stickers. It's got plenty of decals already on there, but then you've got your front headlights, rear lights, your indicators. The box. Okay. That's the car itself. It's like a polycarbonate sort of body or well, Lexan but it's quite thick to be fair really well put together underneath it's a it's a metal chassis and you've got a plastic rear diffuser or rear bumper and flat uh, plastic front bumper and I believe it's got some foam in there as well so let's get this opened That's a nice little touch. These, um, the clips are quite small and they've actually got tags on them. So you can use the tags literally just to pull them off, which comes in quite handy to be fair. Okay, so inside the body, as you can see, it's got some bits for your LED lighting. So it's got front headlights. I believe it's got some indicators as well. And same in the rear. And then you've got your wiring, which obviously it's been taped down and that goes into your receiver. So this would, I'm guessing, work on your channel three. Hence it's a three channel radio handset. So which I believe on here, would be that button there which would switch your lights on and off but we'll come to testing all of that in a second okay that's pretty cool so it's actually got a dust cover on it so I'm guessing if you take it on some sort of rally train or water etc it tries to keep all the water and muck and dust etc out of the actual main components um, which always helps and they're on p-clips as well so let's remove these clips let's see what's underneath here okay so you've got your gyro you got your ESC got your uh, motor and it's actually got a fan on top of the motor so I'm guessing this spare fan it's either a replacement fan in case this breaks alternatively I'm guessing you could use it on your ESC if you wanted to as well um, to keep things cool it's got your T connector on this Let's see what battery this comes with you can get this with an uprated battery. I believe it comes with a 2S. 
but I know you can put 3S in this as well, uh, which obviously will make the vehicle a lot quicker than what it is. But that's the battery it comes with. It's a lithium battery, 7.4 volts, and it's a 2S battery at 2000 milliamps. It's quite small to be fair, and that fits in there quite neatly. Like I said, once again, it's got a metal chassis. It's got your phone bumper guards. Now looking into the vehicle itself, uh, you have actually got oil filled shocks that are fully adjustable so you can control them um, I, bet, I believe you can um, top them up with oil as well if you need to it's actually got adjustable turn buckles uh, don't know if you can get that there I'll just tip that over so adjustable turn buckles to sort your toe in out etc um, yeah, and your ride eye and it's actually got metal drive shafts as well um, which is quite impressive for something this small as 1 14th scale it's not something you normally see the suspension's quite nice as well to be fair for what it is and once again this is four wheel drive it's got a metal drive shaft that runs straight through the center of the vehicle and it has got some reinforcement bars going across the top there as you can see anodized in red and that's made out of aluminium you got plastic strut towers, your wishbones upper and lower are all plastic. Right, perfect. So what we'll do is let's try and connect this battery and let's see how these lights work. And then from there, what we will do is probably take it out. Let's see. So the controller, I've got myself a screwdriver just to open this at the bottom. Okay, so that just sort of latches open which is quite handy now unlike your normal controllers that take four AA batteries this only takes two I've got some batteries here let's pop them on I'll stick that screw back in in a second okay all right let's get this battery in Actually, first thing first, what you need to do is charge this battery with the charger supplied. I'll go get this charged and I'll see you back in a second when it's fully charged. It's all fully charged, the battery's all charged up. Let's get it in there and let's see what this is all about. Put the shell back on but remember obviously when you put the shell back on the lights need to be connected to your channel 3 press that red button and there you go it's ready to go Let's get this shell back on and I'll pop these pins in. The windows are all transparent, they look like they're tinted. The lights are pretty cool to be fair. So obviously when you turn all the turn signals. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to catch that, but which is quite impressive. You've got your hazards on. Right guys, catch us in the next video where we're going to actually test this vehicle. We're going to take it over all three sorts of terrains. We'll be taking it on tarmac. Um, so you will see us drifting it with the drift tires. 
We'll take it on a little rally course so you can see how it rallies about on a rally course with a few little jumps to see how it handles. Um, and yeah, we'll probably even take it through a forest trail like a rally car's supposed to. Catch us for the next video.